Hello, my name is Dennis Morrison, and I'm an author and speaker on end times issues. I believe that our country has been taken over by Marxists that want to destroy America. But first, let me share a personal story with you. I was a talent agent and event planner for 40 years, but in my earlier years, I had a secretary who also did my books. One night, I was going over the books and noticed some errors. I thought, that can't be right. So I did some numbers on my calculator and came up with a different total. So I went over to my secretary's desk and used her calculator. And I just entered two times two, and it came up with three. I was shocked to say the least, but I did it two more times with the same results. When she came in the next day, I asked her, what is two times two? Without hesitating, she turned to her calculator, pressed two times two, and it came up with three. Now I moved to her desk and I said, the same question. I said, what is two times two? And that time I grabbed her hands and she thought about the question and she said, oh, it's four. I said, yes, your calculator's messed up. So it is in life. We must not be so reliant on technology and others that we lose sight of our own common sense, the knowledge we possess and our own innate intuition. Well, as time moves on and new information comes in, we begin to assess our situation and realize that we have been misled and manipulated in multiple ways on a whole host of issues. I believe that our country has been hijacked by socialists that want to destroy us. I, I don't believe the president is protecting the American citizens when he leaves the southern border completely wide open. That means there are millions of people coming in and there's drug trafficking, human trafficking, sex trafficking, there's gang members, and yes, terrorists are coming across the border too. We still have not addressed the health issues that they could possibly be bringing in with them. Not only that, but we're giving them free schooling, medical services, free iPhones, and much more. None of this is good for America. When we examine our withdrawal from Afghanistan, we must conclude that this was a treasonous act because not only did they purposely leave over $85 billion worth of high-tech military equipment, but we also left behind pallets of cash for the enemy, the Taliban. But we also left behind American citizens, our allies, our translators, and Bagram Air Base, which has strategic significance to our global military readiness. We were energy independent, but the current president has stopped the drilling. As a result, we are now energy dependent. Our gas prices have doubled, and we're now looking to our enemies like Russia, Venezuela, and the Middle East for gas. This has sent gas prices as well as inflation soaring because just about everything we use, eat, and need relies on gas. Instead of opening up drilling, which would cause gas prices to go down, reverse the inflationary trend, and help our allies in Europe, the president is depleting our strategic oil reserve to temporarily reduce the price of gas. The strategic oil reserve is supposed to be used in times of war or other catastrophic events, but he's frivolously squandering it. There is war between Russia and Ukraine right now, but we are facing two major enemies, China and Russia, that can turn on a dime and we're in a weakened position in our country's readiness at a critical time. The woke culture of the military has demoralized our troops and it's not good for our military readiness. We are now losing some of our elite fighting forces. Our schools are teaching CRT, equity, diversity and inclusion and many other hurtful things for our kids. But thank God for Zoom during the lockdowns that allowed the parents to see and hear what their kids are being taught. So what do responsible people do? We must get together with like-minded friends and get serious about our country and get involved in who exactly is representing us in our government, on our school boards, and companies that are influencing our lives in a negative way, or we risk losing our God-given rights. We need to get back to the very basics of the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Bible. Please get involved.